Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Hope y'all having a great day. <clears throat> what are we working on today? Let's get to it. The 3406B here cracked the exhaust manifold. So, uh, got it off. Had to repair that one back there. Stud broke off there. And really, the only difficult part about getting this off is you got to kind of snake it in behind this water manifold here. Kind of a pain in the butt, but not bad. Also had a broken bolt there. Dealt with that. And uh, we're going to get this all cleaned up. I've already started just a little bit there. Wire wheel and my little Dewalt. And uh, we'll get to it. Let's look at the parts. I grabbed this manifold here offline. The center section is PAI. Stud and nut kits are PAI. And then I got the gasket kit and the turbo mounting studs and everything from uh, M and D distributors. And I believe the uh, the end sections are CTP, but they all fit together. Um, I'm going to use this Loctite MR2000 for the slip joints or expansion joints. And we're going to get her going. Here's the, uh, the actual exhaust gaskets. I bought 12 because you just never know. So, let's get her going and uh, I'll be back with you shortly. See uh, how it all goes together and how to use that uh, Loctite stuff. Couldn't find anything online, so we'll add that in here. Stay tuned. All right, guys, part two here. Got her cleaned up, scraped up real good. Uh, I just want to make a couple notes here. Uh, number three cylinder on the bottom takes a real short stud because it goes underneath the turbo. And that's a good one to put into place uh, before you set the manifold up in there. Like I said, you got to fish it in up behind this water manifold there. Got the, uh, the Loctite here all mixed up. You open this up, it's super runny, so you got to mix it up real well. And uh, I use this tab here if it'll focus. It's a 3 8 by 16. I went in and cleaned all the threads out on all the holes. And I wanted to make note on the studs here. See, one end is got a taper to it. And that's the end that goes in the block. Come on, stay focused. So that end there goes in the block. See, the other end is just straight. That's where the nut goes on. And... The place I got this from did not send me the studs like they said they would, so I got these studs which will work. They're from a Max Force, which is in that truck. And uh, I'm going to use these instead, and they'll work just fine. Also, anytime you're working with exhaust, get some of this. Save the next guy. It's probably going to be you, anyways. So, yeah, definitely do some of that. So, uh,. Let's get to it. So that's what it looks like once it's all mixed up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it down inside this expansion joint all the way around down here on this lip. And then I'm going to slide the piece together. I'll do both sides. And then uh, we'll get it slid into place. And uh, I'll get back with you guys here shortly. So that is basically what it looks like on the inside there. And then to slide it together, I already got this side done. And try to keep everything lined up. So I'm going to slide this other one on and then get it put on the truck. Alright guys, so we got the manifold up in there. I've got all the studs and spacers on the bottom and the nuts. They're just started all the way back there. And then I already did this one. But what you do with these gaskets... Down to you here you just leave it pulled out a little bit and you just kind of drop it right in place there and you got to fidget with it make sure you're going the right way see what you're doing and you'll see there it lines up with the bolt hole and then you grab one of your studs mine all got their goop on them already And you knock the gasket out onto the ground. 
because that's par for the course. Hang on. Pretty hard to do one-handed, but that's the idea. The gasket just sits in there on the bottom and top stud. You screw the top stud in. Get as far in there as you can by hand. And that's what you do all the way down. And also, I put some of it around the gaps out here, that uh, Loctite stuff. And I'm sure someone that's been doing this since Jesus walked the earth will tell me that's not necessary, but that's fine. I did it, and I'll probably touch it up a little better once I get the manifold up and tight. So that's where we are for now. I'm going to get all this put in and tightened up, and I'll get back with you. I reckon we got her all put on. I uh, couldn't find it in the book anywhere if there was a tightening procedure. So here's what I did. Started with this one down here. And I did an X pattern on each individual one. There and there. So I did an X pattern on each piece. Did that one, then that one, then that one. I'm going to go back over them now and make sure they're all good and tight. And... I gotta clean up the gasket down there for that and uh, get ready to put the turbo on. So that's where we're at guys. That's what I did there. I'm gonna go back and touch that up a little better with a little bit more. Just to make sure I ain't got no leaks. And uh, what somebody said is once you get everything tight, heat these joints with a uh, butane torch and help cure that stuff and uh really uh does wonders for it i guess so we're gonna also do that all right we got just a couple things left to do here um this bracket which runs from the air filter there down to here we're gonna get that put back on road draft tube pivot back around hooks up there um i did take one of the brackets off down there and then a hose clamp for that and then they give you a bunch of gaskets with this kit so i won't be using these two see the turbo over there it's where the uh the elbow comes out of the turbo and that wasn't leaking and i didn't take it apart so i'm not going to deal with that they give you one two three four uh mounting flange gaskets i'm going to use this one because this is the style that came off for that and then you got the uh that's where the return line goes to the block and then you got the feed line and the return line on the turbo with those this is the piece that goes to the block and the little orange o-ring there that's the return line from the turbo and the o-ring goes right in there um, that was leaking so we're going to deal with that and that is pretty much it you know get everything buttoned back up and then we'll start her up i don't think i'm forgetting anything else you know v-band clamp on the downpipe there uh, the pyro probe goes there so yeah, I'm just going to button it up and then once she's running, I'll bring you guys back and see how we did. Alright guys, just wanted to point something out. So you got the road draft tube goes up there. And you can see, I actually have it sitting lower than it used to be. And because I wanted to get clearance around the manifold right there. And now I have it um, up where the clamp was. It was hitting pretty good. Uh, my lovely old wife ran down the hardware store to get new uh, nuts and bolts for this bracket. I said it goes there then up to the air filter um because the ones were pretty crusty i just didn't feel like reusing them so uh we're just about there and uh we'll fire it up and that right there is what i use to clean my hands up i like these better than the other brands on the market so uh yeah 11 bucks get 75 wipes and they do a damn good job
together. Don't look at my mess up. But it'll hold for now. He's a good runner. somebody out somewhere along the line if you like what you see uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel interact with the video y'all have a great day thanks